Hello everyone. So today we are going to improve our compass bar system by implementing a way to customize the compass bar icon that represents the characters or whatever the entities uh, that, are sh that show up in the compass bar. So in this case, these two NPC characters, this guy and the other guy over there. So they are presented with two icons A and B. And also you can see underneath the icon the distance to them also appears so those are the two things that i'm going to work on today and uh, before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from my patreon page once you become a member you can access everything without any limits so feel free to check it out and also you can watch all these uh, maps and mini maps related uh, tutorials I have done in this playlist. I'll leave the link to that also in the description. And now let's get back to the compass bus system tutorial. Right, so this is what we have worked on so far. So here you can see this A icon represents this uh, character in the world and in the compass bar you can see it's updating its location in the compass bar to match their direction relative to the player's character so now i want to do some more stuff with this icon so for example i want to implement a way to customize the icon so for each character or the actor or whatever the uh entity in the world that i need to represent in the compass bar we can have a car unique icon and also i need to show the distance to those uh items as well from the player okay so to get started let me show you so this minimap icon sorry this compass bar marker component this is where i add that icon into the compass bar like this so okay now first before we start customizing i'll add a, well i basically need a way to update the icon and maybe the icon size and also um, what else a place to show the distance of course okay so here is the compass bar marker widget now to add uh, i show the icon and underneath that to show the distance i might need uh vertical bar vertical box here like this this size to content and then this is the marker i'll add a text like this so it shouldn't be like that it's not good so i'll go to font maybe eight light okay and this marker it shouldn't deform so actually uh we might need a size box to this big box to this because if i want to customize the scale of this icon we might need that so add a size box Main desired height and width i'll set 30 by 30 Mac. also i set the same right maybe max is not required right now so i'll just disable it okay right and this text box Block. I'll set some sample distance like 
512 meters oh, should be center meters and it should be centered here so now let's see so it's there but now it's not updating its location anymore and we need to adjust the placement as well okay so also i got some errors that should be because this access now i'm trying to read property call function slot as canvas slot return value okay so now that i have wrapped this marker inside the uh, vertical box we can't get it get the slot as canvas slot anymore so but instead of that what i have to do is update in the location of this vertical box itself so i'll call this vp marker and use it in place of this okay now it's working uh you might notice this is not exactly the way i want it to look so maybe we should put the icon on top of the line itself so to do that here uh compass bar this is 75 position this is 40 Mm. I said this also 40 or oh, maybe not 40 like 50 see how it looks mm, no. well there are two things that we need to adjust okay now the icon is in the middle which is i think better that's i think that's how it's done in uh, assistant screen also okay i set to 55 now it's better okay now the next thing is updating the distance and also customizing the icon so for that here yeah. is this a variable no okay i'll make it a variable text uh, mark now yeah i'll add a custom event i'll call it uh, customize marker And first thing is I need to change the icon. So get the marker uh, set brush from texture. Right now here I'll connect the texture and then I if I want to update the size, here I have this size box. Uh, mark, uh, no, size box mark. Yeah, I can set mm, main desired width and set mean desired height so for this i'll add a new input vector 2d so that i can give the size so get this 
right? Then use x as width and y as height. I'll set a desired value, a uh, default value of what's the default value already? 30 by 30. I'll put that as the default value so that in case I forget to add a value, it would be there by default. And this one, oh, we can't put a default value for that. Okay, that's fine. Right. Now, was there anything else I need to customize? Maybe not. Okay, now let's go back to this compass marker component. And here, I'll add a variable icon should be a texture object reference I'll set point a as the default value this is a texture right texture 2d all right yeah to change it to texture 2d so yeah i'll promote this to a variable mm, compass mark wbp compass mark and then here i'll directly add that Okay, and uh, customize marker. And here as the marker, I'll pass this icon. Oh, I can't because this is texture. It has to be texture 2D. I should be able to. Yeah, and here size. So I'll promote this also as a variable icon size, and I'll make this public or uh, editable on each instance so that I should be able to customize it for these characters. So, here yeah, if I want to put 40 by 40, I can do that. And if I want to put a different icon, I can do that too. Now, I leave the default size here. Now, let me duplicate this NPC and uh, select the compass marker. Oh, why not? It? Why not? No, it's not public. This shouldn't be public. Okay, now I have. So for the second one, in PC2, I'll use point B. Okay, now see? Now, now I have two icons, A and B, appear on the compass bar. Next step is getting the distance to work so okay so for the distance here in the tick i have the track actor and also i can get player character and distance to so here we have the distance uh, but this is in unreal units it's centimeters as i understand and divide this by 100 to make it meters then 
I'll get this text marker. Set text. Uh, here I'll do this string. I'll make it text to a string because I need to append M. So append and this. Uh, I put it no I need to consider only the all parts of the number so truncate this should work because here I might get zero oh, decimal values as well which I don't need right now Okay, now let's see. Yeah, right. So it is updating, and maybe I should add a bit of a shadow underneath the text so it's more clear. The text shadow. Shadow main not be available. So let's use the outline. Oh, that's better. Try other side. Okay, this should make things clear. Let's see. Hmm, it's not, it's not good. Uh, it's fine. Okay, that should be clear enough. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop this episode uh, right here. What else I need to work on in the system? I'll, maybe, maybe we need to have something like, if an object is beyond a certain distance, maybe we shouldn't uh, show those icons in the compass bar. And also if they are too much at the edge of here, maybe we don't need to show the distance unless we look at them. So yeah, let's look into those things and other possible improvements of this system in the next episode so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions or anything in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next episode goodbye